Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Korean Barbecue Short Rib Burritos. When I was living in Portland, Oregon, one of my favorite food trucks to visit was this spot called Koi Fusion. And they're still around, they're still doing their thing, and their thing is a fusion of Korean barbecue and Mexican flavors, which is right up my alley. My favorite thing to get there was this bulgogi burrito. So stinking good. So today, in honor of Koi Fusion, we are going to be making our own barbecue Korean burrito. But instead of doing bulgogi, which utilizes the ribeye usually, we're going to be doing galbi, which utilizes the short rib. So first thing we're going to get into is our short rib. We're going to actually cut them ourselves today, just because I've got this great piece of Creekstone Farm short rib that I really want to utilize. So these are our Creekstone Farms prime beef short ribs. They've just come out of the freezer because that's the easiest way to cut them. But you've got your bones running this way. And then what you see, I mean, in American barbecue, we just smoked this whole thing on the smoker. Uh, with the Asian barbecue, you tend to see it laterally cut this way. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And we're gonna be doing that on our LEM tabletop meat saw. So I've got this set to about one and a half. Um, it's gonna give you about a half to three quarter inch slice. First one's old, never the prettiest one. It gets better from there. I love it when I get to play with food and power, power tools. those fingers away. When I get to this last one, I usually just pull from the end. There we go. So there you have your cross cut short rib. Of course, these are, these are frozen right now. So I've got another batch that's already marinating that we're gonna be cooking up today. But at this point, you just wanna let these thaw out before you put them in the marinade. So let's get some marinade. So kind of at the heart of this marinade is the Asian pear. And I picked these up from my local Asian market, but if you can't get a hold of them, you can always just use like a Bosque pear. Um, but this does some kind of magical stuff with tenderization and certainly with flavor. We're just gonna give this a rough chop and everything's gonna come together in the blender. I've also got one large yellow onion that I've already chopped up into large pieces. And then we're gonna get into some aromatics. So six cloves of garlic. We're just gonna crush them, peel them, toss them in the blender. Next up, we've got some ginger, one about a tablespoon roughly chopped. Now for our liquid ingredients, we've got a half cup of soy sauce, half cup of water, six tablespoons of turbinado sugar. This is our smoked turbinado sugar, so it's gonna add some smokiness to it. You could also use brown sugar if that's all you got. Got a quarter cup of mirin and a couple tablespoons of sesame oil. Let the blender do the work. Get a little taste. Oh yeah. Just a great fruit base. The onions kicking out, the garlic showing up, the ginger, the soy. This is what we're gonna now soak those short ribs in. So I like to do like a four to eight hour marinade on these. You can leave them overnight if you want, but things work a little bit better and a little bit faster if you've got a vacuum seal, if you've got access to it. And pour that marinade right in to the bag with it. Don't want to overload it though, because in the type of, uh, type of vacuum sealer we're using today, this stuff will come rushing out if not. But feel free to just throw these in a brineer bucket too. Just avoided the leakage. Get round two in here. And today we're gonna to be cooking on the Yoder Smokers flat top adjustable charcoal grill. And we're gonna have a couple different setups. We've got our griddle in place, but we're also gonna do some direct grilling right over the charcoal. But before we get to any of that, obviously we gotta fire up the charcoal. Yeah. 
So we've loaded up two Weber chimneys full of our jealous double charcoal. I'm gonna throw a little Kamado Joe fire starter underneath. We'll let those get hot. We've got a few components for the burrito that we need to put together still. We'll do that while that grill's getting hot over there. So this first one's the easiest. This is going to be our gochujang mayo. It's going to go inside the burrito. It starts off with a half cup of kewpie mayo, Japanese mayo. It's tangy and creamy. We're going to add a couple tablespoons here of gochujang, fermented chili paste. And then lastly, we'll do about a tablespoon of our blue agave sriracha uh, from Yellowbird, which one of our new hot sauces that we're carrying. Pretty stoked about that. Mix it up with the world's cutest little whisk. And I'm gonna load it into a squeeze bottle. So quickly now we're gonna put together a little pico de gallo. I've already done the knife work on this. We're starting off with three quarter cup of heirloom tomatoes. About the same amount of red onion, half cup of jalapeno. You can go serrano if you wanna get real classic or add a little bit more heat. And then fun fresh one here, a half cup of diced cucumber as well, just to bring the freshness. A few tablespoons of cilantro. Do a squeeze of lime juice. And hit it with a little bit of our black garlic salt. Nothing to it. This is gonna add a lot in the way of freshness to go along with our marinated beef short ribs. We've got the fried rice, which has got a little bit of that uh, richness to it so this is really gonna cut a lot of that and speaking of fried rice we've got just a little bit of knife work to do for our fried rice I'm gonna include some Chinese sausage in the fried rice for that fattiness and it's also like of course it's a little bit salty it's got the consistency kind of like a Spanish chorizo but it's got a certain funkiness to it and it's also a little bit sweet really interesting stuff go poke around at your local Asian market you'll be pretty impressed with what you can find. we we'll dice up about a half cup of this stuff. Next we've got our kimchi and I just want to break it down a little bit because this particular one's pretty chunky. I'm going to chop this up and get about a half cup of that as well. And now that it's broken down you get like a little bit in every bite rather than big chunks every once in a while. Well, charcoal is hot, so let's get set up for cooking now. I'm gonna dump about half of this out on this side. I'm gonna slide the griddle over to preheat a little bit. And we'll do our direct grilling right over here. Now we're ready to grill, so pulling our short ribs directly out of the marinade and right onto the grill. Now the only salt that we have on these at this point is from the soy sauce in the marinade, so I'm gonna also hit these with some seasoning and that's where some of this fusion play comes in. We're gonna use our Cattleman's Grill Mexicano seasoning. So we cross over into Mexican territory. So we really wanna get some nice char on here like we're seeing here, even a little bit more, just like that's great. What's happening is those sugars from the marinade are caramelizing on the surface. We're gonna get started on the fried rice now. And initially what I wanna do is put down some chili oil here. We're doing the, uh, the par-cooked rice hack here. If you don't have day-old rice to make your fried rice, go buy one of these packets of par-cooked rice, and it's perfect. I mean, the, the, the doneness works out just right. Let's throw our sausage down so we can get a little brown on that. So check this guy out right here. This is pretty ideal 
you could have a little more color on this side but this stuff is still going to be it's going to have some tug to it it's not falling apart it's going to have some texture but this is about ideal on the doneness there's no temp to go by it's mostly just color and feel last few pieces coming off now and we can finish up our fried rice get that sausage just kind of rendered out it's also rendered its fat to the dish Let's throw down our kimchi and of course you gotta have a fried egg let's put a little more oil right here together now and finishing it up. It's looking good. So now we're just going to separate the strips of meat off from the bones. Although the section with the bones It'll have a little bit of meat left behind that you can kind of snack on. Some of them just want to pop right off. And then we're just going to break these down into small bite-sized pieces. You can hear the great crunch that we've got out of these short ribs. <clears throat> They're so thin. I mean, that's why they cook through so quickly. Typically, this is something you'd probably have to smoke if you were smoking it whole for a good six hours or so to render it out. But what we're getting here is a little bit, a little bit firmer texture. It's not chewy by any means, but it's pretty amazing that you can take that, this same cut that you might smoke low and slow for a long time and knock it out, you know, 10, 15 minutes, completely different texture, but still entirely enjoyable. We're going to start building these burritos back here on the griddle and do like individual portion sizes here. And I want to get them on the griddle because I want this cheese to be able to melt. This is our Mexican Chihuahua melting cheese. And then just to kind of reheat the rice. We'll go ahead and put some of that on top of there too. And then we'll just put our tortilla right on top. That'll start to steam the tortilla and loosen it up, make it a little easier, a little bit more pliable. Also, I'm going to just throw a little bit of water under there. That'll start to steam that cheese and melt it. Oh yeah, we got a nice cheese skirt going on the bottom there. Look at that. Just cooking in its own fat. All right, let's go finish these off at the table. So now we've got all of our hot and savory elements here. We're gonna brighten it up with some freshness. We got some bean sprouts from our buddy Jimmy over at Can Grow Hydro Farm. We hit this with some of that uh, gochujang crema. Kind of dress, dresses the greens. Then we've got our cucumber pico. Look how bright and fresh this is now. Such great juxtaposition. And finish it off with one of my favorite green chili salsas. See if we can get it all in there. Oh, it's a big one. Boom, let's cut into it and see how it looks. Check that out. I'm so stoked. Oh my gosh. Guys, that kimchi fried rice is ridiculous. 
with the galbi short rib, melty cheese, and then all of the freshness, the crunch of the bean sprouts, that cucumber really pops out of that pico. Mm. It's fresh, it's not heavy, but it's a great mixture of the two. It takes me back, it's no koi fusion, but I think it did all right. And I'm happy to be eating it skin. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.